What's up everybody, this is Brad, and I want to drop in real quick and talk about this, because Fortnite dropped this this morning. And there's no sound, I thought there might be sound, but... It's a tease of a collab from Futurama. So, that's unexpected. Now, I know uh, the data miners and leakers found an emote that was inspired by uh, the, you know, the infamous, you know, uh, shut up and take my money scene that's, you know, now a meme uh, that people use all the time. Uh, there's an emote in the game, apparently, that's a reference to that, and it looks like that will probably be coming tomorrow with this update. And I think it's supposed to have... I, I read some random tweet that said that uh, we'll probably, it'll probably be, the skins will probably be Fry, Leela, and uh, Bender. But the thing is... It, it, I was never expecting this to happen. I mean... The closest thing to this that we've gotten is Rick and Morty. And like I've said before, you know, when they were teasing the the they did the troll with the Peter Griffin skin and that never ha that you know that never actually happened. At this point it still hasn't happened. And I was like, "You know what? I I don't care what anybody says. I want Peter Griffin in this game just now because I think it would be hilarious." Um, but they, they'd have to bring in, you know, uh, surfing bird <laughs> that that's gotta be an emote and everybody needs to be able to do it. If, uh, they do put Peter in anyway. Uh, I also did a video a good while after that. And I debated, you know, what's more likely to happen. Do you think Peter Griffin or Homer Simpson have a bigger chance of being in the game? And I actually made the case where I thought that, we might actually be more likely to see Homer than Peter because Disney owns the Simpsons now. And I'm pretty sure like through the Fox stuff, Disney owns Futurama now. Uh, they probably, they should, Disney should technically own Simpsons, Family Guy, Futurama, King of the Hill, all that Fox uh, animation stuff that should belong to Disney and Disney already is throwing in tons of Star Wars and Marvel characters into this game. Indiana Jones was in the game. So any Disney character should be a possible option for this game. Now, I know the game is rated teen, but it's got a lot of kids that play it, but that hasn't stopped them from putting Deadpool in the game. Or Attack on Titan, which is a pretty, you know, violent show. I know that Attack on Titan is a shonen manga still technically, but it gets pretty graphic with the violence. But anyway, uh, the Predator, the Terminator in the game, those are R-rated movies. So, RoboCop. So, there you go. But anyway, uh, I think that, I hope that this is a sign. I'm not the biggest, I'm not the biggest Futurama fan. I've not really watched very much of it. But I don't, like, hate it. So, you know, it's just something I've never watched. It's like, it's like Star Wars. It's something I know is out there. I don't have anything against it. I've just never taken the time to check it out. But I'm actually pretty happy to see this. And if, if I like the skins, I think I might uh, buy them. But uh, I hope that this is a sign that we might actually get to The Simpsons at some point. We could get a Homer Simpson skin, a Krusty the Clown uh, skin. I don't know who else you could put in there. That's like uh, maybe Duff Man. So I don't know what you could do with the Simpsons, but at the very least, a Homer Simpson skin. Because they've already referenced Homer Simpson in this game before. There's some pink donuts that you can find. or I don't know if they're still used or if they put them anywhere. But I know in the game before... There were uh, pink donuts found in one of the laboratories. that was supposed to be a reference to Homer's uh, job. So, I don't know. I hope we'll see Homer and Peter in the game at some point. So that we can have them actually have a, a shootout in Fortnite. To continue that fight that they had in that crossover. But just think about that, man. Tomorrow, once this collab goes live. This will be a game that features now Rick and Morty. Dragon Ball characters. Naruto characters. Um... Uh, most of the Justice League, most of the Avengers, uh, Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, 
And then, like, characters like RoboCop, the Predator. It, it, there's so many characters in this game now. And it's it's it, it really does feel like the only other game that could, like, match the hype for crossover reveals was Smash Brothers. Fortnite, though, the world of Fortnite is not limited to just video games. And which there's a lot of video game characters in this uh, game already. And I think that they should be trying to get even more. But uh, this is a crossover game unlike any other. And, you know, I know people make fun of it for being Fortnite. Uh, thankfully, this is coming along at a time where the season is in a lull. This particular season has been pretty lackluster because, like, ever since the launch, I was like, oh, this is going to be cool. And it just the more I played it, especially since they took the uh, kinetic boomerang out, it's just not felt that great. It's not felt like special, and I haven't really felt a big desire to get in and play. But uh, maybe this will breathe some life into this season the same way the Dragon Ball collab got everybody back and maybe even more during Chapter 3, Season 3. So we'll have to see. Can history repeat itself? We'll find out tomorrow. That was all I wanted to talk about. So uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll play some Futurama in Fortnite tomorrow, I guess. Till then, I'm out of here.